So far, no, but I have managed to find these things we keep talking about, the GPUs, the CPUs, and all of the NVIDIA server racks. I thought it was worthwhile just digging in exactly to what NVIDIA does, how it works. Behind me is the GB300, the latest uh, iteration of their server trays. This is effectively the, the computer tray. At the top, you see four copper bits. Those are the GPUs, the graphics processing units in the server tray. Underneath that, there's two other copper bits. Those are the CPUs, and they're all interconnected to make it work. Just next to that, you have what's known as the NVLink switch tray. This also goes into a huge server rack, which I'll show you in a moment. And this links all of these computing trays uh, together to form these systems that NVIDIA talks about in terms of the uh, GPUs, in terms of the server racks. Now, we're walking by a few server racks right Right now, we're going to stop at one in a second. This one on my right here is the server rack for the GB300. So all of those trays I've just showed you are in this server rack. You've got 10 of the compute trays at the bottom and eight uh, on, uh, at the top and eight on the bottom. And all together, and then there's a few of the switch trays in the middle to link them all together. And all together, that equals to 72 GPUs in this server rack. And you've got to think in a massive data center, a lot of these server racks are linked together. And this is what it's all about, infrastructure. That's why Jensen Huang is here in Europe. That's his pitch to Europe, that he can help that, uh, Europe build out its AI infrastructure. Let's listen in to what he had to say. The intelligence come from the data of your country. The data of your country belongs to your country. The data of your country, like the land, belongs to your country. It's your people's knowledge. It's your people's culture. It codifies your common sense, it codifies the core values of your people. Most of the data, in fact, is not even on the internet. A lot of it is in your congressional libraries or historian libraries or wherever it is in, in your companies. That data belongs to you. You should find a way to learn how to harvest that data, transform that data into AI. You have, of course, uh, you still use public, AI, public models and things like that. But here in France, you have the benefit of Mistral, who knows how to help you do that. And you could do that for your government, you could do that for your countries, uh, your companies, and uh, build the AI here. There's no reason to outsource that. Um, uh, the capability exists. So Jensen's big pitch here in Europe this week has been every country needs their own AI infrastructure. NVIDIA is going to be the company to help them build out. And we heard a slew of deals announced uh, over the past uh, 24 hours or so as well. Just to finish up, this wasn't the only thing Jensen Huang was talking about. He was talking about quantum computing, driverless cars and robotics. And you can see behind me here on the NVIDIA stand, there are robotics arms that are using NVIDIA technology as well. This is uh, Jensen Huang's other big pitch that NVIDIA isn't just about uh, these big data centers, it's about uh, the technology that can power what he feels could be the future of AI, which is robotics, which is driverless cars. And again, that's a pitch to investors at this point to think of NVIDIA more than just uh, a chip company.